Mangar USA is a subsidiary of Mangar International, a UK company based in Wales that has been in business since 1980. The CAMEL, which stands for Complete Air Moving Elevating Lift, was introduced in the US in 2005 and is in use in assisted living centers, nursing homes, hospitals and ambulance services around the country. There are more musculoskeletal injuries to healthcare workers than steel workers and construction workers combined. The use of the CAMEL from Mangar USA may reduce the incidence of back injury and reduce workers' compensation claim. The Mangar Camel Lifting Cushion is designed to lift uninjured people from the floor or ground in a way that avoids hazardous manual handling and maintains the dignity of the person requiring assistance. The Camel Moving Handling Kit comes complete with two battery-operated compressors that can be used anywhere, indoors or out, a four-way hand control with integrated air supply tubes that have color-coded quick-lock connectors, the lifting cushion with carrying case, a slide sheet for transferring large or uncooperative people onto the camel, a transfer belt with hand grips to help stabilize the person while the camel is inflating, and a battery charger that is not shown. The camel is compact, lightweight, portable, and inconspicuous. The carrying bag with the lifting cushion, four-way hand control, slide sheet, and transfer belt weighs 15 pounds. The Camel is powered by a small lightweight battery operated compressor called the Airflow. The Airflow compressor also weighs 15 pounds. The Camel inflates section by section to lift the person and bring them to a sitting position. It provides a rigid rising seat by way of a unique internal structure. Despite its simplicity, the Camel will lift 700 pounds. In the following scenario, Someone has fallen and been found lying on the floor. The caregiver has determined that no injury has been sustained, but the person cannot rise from the floor unaided and the Mangar Camel is required. The following demonstration gives an example of how to use the Camel for a fallen, uninjured person. The caregiver speaks with the person, reassuring them and telling them what they're going to do. The camel is unrolled and the four-way hand control is removed. The air supply lines are connected between the airflow power source and the camel, matching each air supply tube to the corresponding number and color connector, push them together until secure. After the person has been positioned safely on their side, the caregiver places the lifting cushion next to the person, making sure the camel logo is aligned with the back of their head. The caregiver assists the person onto the center line of the lifting cushion, making sure the back of their head is on the logo and their hips and legs are properly aligned. If the person cannot or will not cooperate with the caregiver, the slide sheet is employed. To use the slide sheet, first position the person on their side facing away from the camel. Place the camel alongside the person with the logo near the back of their head. Place the slide sheet on top of the camel and then tuck it under the person. With a log roll movement, roll the person onto the slide sheet. Place one hand on the person's shoulder and one on their hip then gently push the person towards the center of the camel. Once the person is in the correct position, the slide sheet is gently removed. The slide sheet is composed of slick double layers. To remove the slide sheet, simply pull on the lower level of the double layered sheet. The caregiver should be careful not to remove the sheet abruptly. Once the process has been explained, the caregiver operates the four-way handset to control the lift section by section. The caregiver gives reassuring support by placing their hand on the person's shoulder or arm. There are four buttons on the four-way hand control. Button number one inflates the head support section. This section should be inflated just enough to make breathing easier and to provide head and neck support for the person. 
Then the caregiver pushes button number two to inflate the two lower sections concurrently, providing a rigid base. This button is held down longer than the others because two sections are being inflated at once. Buttons two, three, and four are held until the compressor automatically senses that the section is full and stops. Overinflation is impossible. After section two is inflated, the caregiver should return to the back support section to make sure the person is still supported properly. Now, button three is pressed until this section is completely inflated. At this point, many people won't need section four to be inflated to stand safely. However, for taller people, section four should be fully inflated. The caregiver should make sure that the person's feet and knees are properly aligned. Before attempting to stand or transfer the backrest, button number one must be fully inflated. The caregiver will need to assess options for standing or transfer. The person may simply stand up and walk away, stand with the assistance of a walker, or transfer to a chair or wheelchair. The lift having been safely achieved, the camel can be deflated by simply removing the air supply lines that connect the camel to the compressor. Place the four-way hand control in the rectangle on the underside of the lifting cushion and roll the cushion like a sleeping bag. Then return it to the carrying bag. Return the camel to where it is stored. For more information on the camel from Oak Point Medical, call 877-461-1614 or visit www.oakpointmedical.com.